All right, so a little longer version of what you just saw. What are you doing here? Okay, I already said it all in the first video. You don't have time to watch this, but hey, you're here, so let me help you out. First and foremost, the most important thing is your diet because you can't out-train a bad one. It's very simple. Think of those Venn diagrams from school, right? Those are those circles with the overlap, right? Sometimes you have concentric circles. Those are circles within circles, okay? The biggest, most important circle when it comes to diet is calories in, calories out, okay? Now, you can, you can yell at me all you want. Oh, but Luke, I'm on the keto diet. I can eat anything I want as much as I want. That's great, good for you. But maybe if you aren't seeing any progress, maybe you should count some calories because then inside that big circle of calories in, calories out, there's all these other little circles like fasting and, and elimination diets and all that jazz. And that's good. You should work on that and find what works for you. But you've got to portion what you're putting into your body if your goal is to lose weight. That's what it comes down to. You're, you're going to have to figure out how your body processes the different macronutrients. You're going to have to figure out portion sizes. Yeah, yeah. Do you eat a second helping of the thing? Maybe if it's salad, but maybe if it's another cup of rice, maybe you should hold off, okay? Find what works for you. Get that diet tailored to your lifestyle. So maybe you do alternate day fasting. Maybe you only eat breakfast. Maybe you only eat dinner. You'll figure it out and you'll see progress over time. There's plenty of content on YouTube and in articles and blogs and talking to your doctor to figure out what you need to do diet wise but that's the most important part of your fat loss journey dads get your food right simple as that with the weightlifting part second i think it's more important than cardio because when you are doing resistance training you're building muscle and muscle burns more calories than uh, than fat than the the lean tissues of your body than your bone <laughs> your muscles gonna burn a lot more calories. So you're gonna want as much muscle as possible, right? Turn into Arnold, ah! yeah. Setting up a regime of, of workouts for you. Um, it doesn't have to be complicated. Like I said in the short video, you want push-ups, pull-ups, bodyweight squats. How many a day, what do you do? There's a, a program called greasing the gears, okay? That's like every time you go to the bathroom, you have a pull-up bar set up, you do five pull-ups. You can do that with any exercise, any free moment of the day. Just do five of each. Just get your push-ups, pull-ups, and bodyweight squats in. If you have access to weights, even better. Resistance training gets easier the more weight you add, meaning it's more efficient. I only have to do five repetitions of a 200-pound deadlift, and I've had a pretty good workout. Maybe I do multiple sets. That's, that's awesome. That's awesome. But doing bodyweight squats, I might have to do 200 of them to feel the same kind of activation in my glutes and my quads. Do you see? It becomes more efficient with weight. That's all I'm trying to say. So definitely focus on putting on muscle, on getting stronger, because it's more fun. <laughs> it's easier to track. I mean, you could argue that, that standing on a scale and seeing the weight go down is easy to track. Sure, but I think it's easier to track your strength gains because it's more motivating. It's more fun to go into the gym and be like, oh, I added five pounds to my XYZ lift, or I can now do another five push-ups before I have to give up. Like, that just feels good. You feel like you're making progress versus can't eat chocolate cake today. <laughs> Gotta cut back. So focus on building strength. You'll have a much more fun time carving out the time to do that resistance training. And third, most important, very important for your heart health is cardio. Okay, you're going to need to get that heart rate up. And the two best ways I've found to do that are one, like I said in the short video, set aside 15 minutes and sprint your face off. Try to increase your mile time, uh, decrease the time, but increase your speed at which you're running a mile. Okay, it's very simple. <laughs> you don't need any particular program. Oh, when I run, do I land with my heel and go toe? Do I only run on the balls of my feet? Do I need special shoes? Can I zigzag back and forth? Who cares? Just try to get a mile as fast as you can because you only have 15 minutes, because you have 87 jobs and a bunch of kids and not a lot of time. Get your heart rate up and run a mile. Watch your progress as you get to go faster, <laughs> as you feel each mile, it, it gets easier every day as you run it, and it feels good. 
and you know that you're doing good things for your heart <laughs> because uh, not only are you going to have to keep up with your kids, but you're going to have to keep up with uh, your mortality timeline. Let's put it that way. The more cardio you do up to a point, you're going to live a little better life. It's going to be easier to get around. You're, you're going to have more longevity and feel better. So do your sprints. The second method that I, I really, really love, and you can see how I count. By the way, I go one, two. So second, you know, deal with it. Uh, <laughs> the second method I really like for cardio is after dinner with the family, go for a walk. Does it get your heart rate up? I mean, maybe. Maybe if your toddler runs down the street and you have to chase after him, sure. But the idea is you just ate some food, you're going to get some blood flow, you're, you're spending time with the people you love, and you're moving. And it's easy, and it's low impact, and you're moving. That's the point. Add more movement to your life. You're going to burn a few calories. You'll feel good about yourself. The wife is happy. Okay, so it's very simple. Diet first, resistance training, get the cardio in. Now, is it that simple, just carving out the time for it? Yes. Yes, it is. Because the diet pretty much just becomes passive. You just... Understand, like, I stop eating when I'm full. These are the portions I usually eat. I do or do not eat these kinds of foods. Done. You don't have to track anything. It helps if you do. But maybe you don't have time for that. So just intuitively figure out, like, I'm eating too much. I'm eating too close to bed. I mean, whatever it is, that becomes more of a back burner thing. Just an, an undercurrent of everything you're doing. With the weights, grease the gears, man. Just do something at some point during the day and you'll make progress, okay? Maybe you only did five push-ups yesterday, but those five are gonna be easier today to do again. If you're doing resistance training with heavier weights, you're gonna have time in between the workouts because your body needs to recover, all right? Then putting on that muscle, you're gonna burn the fat even faster, okay? And the cardio, just make time for it. Just make 15 minutes. You roll out of bed before everyone else wakes up and run outside for 15 minutes. Really simple. Go for that walk at the end of the day with the family. Boom, you just fit it in. It didn't detract from anything else in your life and you're well on your way to achieving your goals. Simple, 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 simplify because everything else is chaos or frustrating or difficult. You handle those three things, you will reach your goal. You will make it. It'll take a little bit of time, but you can rest easy. You know you're doing the things you need to take care of yourself and keep taking care of your family because you'll be around. So, thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful to you. Take care of yourself.